Hi all, today we're looking at how to diagnose issues with an immersion element. See whether it's burnt out, see if there's any issues with it, um, things like that. Now I'm going to go through all things here, so I'm going to show you how to diagnose in this video, then I'm going to show you how to drain the tank in the next video, and after that I'm going to show you how to actually get it out uh, and get a new one in. Okay, so first things first, how do you know if it's actually broken? Right, the first thing is they all have a little nut on top that you can take off or on the side exposing all the gubbins inside. Now obviously don't do this live, if you do there's some serious power going to these things you can get dead quite quickly. Anyway, right, so most of these, or the modern ones, have an overheat in them. So here's your first chance of an easy repair. You see here you have got, focus, um, you have got a little temperature control. Not that it's focusing, but there we are. There's a little temperature control there. Now that, you can set the temperature of the hot water with. And then right there, they're all different on different ones, and it says, just beside it, safety, there's a safety reset on it. The idea being, that doesn't work. It tries to boil, and that pops out. So what you do, you press your little reset, and if it clicks, you know that you've reset it. If it does nothing, it's either, it's usually that it's fine, and what you do then, if you've had to reset it, is just knock the temperature down a bit. So that's your first thing. <clears throat> okay, other than that, you're looking for your usual burnt wires, things like that, which happens quite often, um, bits and bobs like that. Now, okay, so let's assume that that hasn't worked. You need to check for power coming into it. I'll show you how to do that in a second. And let's just get one thing, uh, let's just go over one thing. This is a top entry here. This one is a bottom entry. There's two types. This is 11 inch, usually 11 to 14 inch. Quite often the side entry will have one low and one high, one for sort of heating the whole tank, one for heating just a bit. Quite often done with economy seven and um, yeah, economy seven systems where basically that heats at night and that can be boosted in the day. Anyway, these are a bit more of a pick to change. These are easier, mainly because it's in terms of draining it. Right, okay. so. Let's have a look at how to check whether there's a fault with this. Now, as you can imagine, if any of you have watched my videos before, I'm obviously fully prepared and organised. <clears throat> My multimeter set up, of course. No, it isn't. Right, okay, so we're looking at voltage. So I'm going to go to DC, oh, sorry, not DC, I'm going to go to AC voltage. And what I'm going to do, first of all, now obviously this isn't live because I'm doing it one-handed. What you're going to do, first of all, is to check the incoming power. Now notice, the earth goes directly to one end of the element. You see the element is here? Earth goes to what, sorry, neutral goes to one end of the element here, and the live goes through the thermostat, through this stat, through that stat, and back out. So we want to check for power coming in. So on the, in, on the wire coming in, we want to check for power. I think I should buy a tripod. I've got one actually, I just can't use it here. Right, <clears throat> so there and there. Now what we're looking for is 240 volts AC. If you get 110 or 100 volts by the way, what that tends to be is a broken neutral wire. Just a bit of information. Okay, so presume you've got 240 volts there. You then want to check that you have got, oh by the way, if you haven't got 240 volts there, check you're not on an economy seven system where it only heats at night. Yeah, you need to check that because otherwise you're gonna do all of this for absolutely no reason. Right, so, you've got incoming voltage. You then need to check to see whether you've got voltage coming out of the stat. So you're going to the other side of the stat and neutral again. Assume you have voltage, means your stat is fine. Right, <clears throat> you've checked your stat, it's fine. You now need to look and check that it is actually a fault with the immersion. So what we're going to do in this instance, by the way, this is what the stats look like. It's just one of them. They can be changed. You just unscrew it. It comes out of a dry pocket. Slide it out. Buy a new one. You can sell them in B&Q. I do like B&Q. Um, it's not a trade merchant, but you know what? For a Home Depot type place, my God, has it got some stuff. Anyway, you can get any one of those. They're all pretty much the same. So long as it fits the old, it fits the old. These are all pretty much three kilowatt and no more. So there's not different powers or anything like that. So there we are. Right, okay, so that's out. 
You're now left with these. Now let me explain why you're being careful now. The reason is, is that to get this out, you usually have to heat it. Now if this immersion isn't blown, at the point where you heat it, it's gonna go pop. Now quite often what it does, it goes pop and blows chunks out of here. So it just <coughs> fragments crap, I've had it out in the face. So, what is this? This is a heating element. So it's a coil of copper wire going down through a little tube filled with some sort of white silica guv, don't know what it is, um, and then coming back to here. So there is a direct connection between that and that, or a resistance anyway. So what we're looking for is we're gonna go now, we're gonna go over to resistance on here. Obviously my screen on here is just non-functional. So we're gonna go to the ohm scale. Test your meter, so that's actually a continuity check there. It beeps. Now we should get, not always continuity, because, but in this instance, ooh, there we are. So we're actually getting 17 ohms. So what we're doing is we're checking to make sure that there's continuity down there. Now, when I show you changing this, as you can see, that works. So I'm gonna be fairly circumspect because to get this out, you have to heat it. Well, you don't have to, but quite often you have to heat it. Um, and in heating it, that will probably blow fragments out of me. Okay, so assuming you haven't got continuity here, that's one of the checks to see whether it's, uh, it's operational. If there isn't, the other thing to do is to check between each of these and earth. That means that there's a hole in the element and it's letting, uh, it's letting power flow through the water, from the neutral to the, through the water to the earth, or from the live through the neutral, uh, sorry, from the live through the water to the earth. Now obviously this one's fine, so it won't do it. So there we are, that's diagnosing it. So you're checking basically to make sure that you have um, continuity through those, that the stat is working and you've got power to it. Here's the other type, this is a very old one. You may have this, um, the only real difference here is the same, look, so we'll take that out of its pocket, look, identical. I could swap one to the other, no difference. Same thing again, you see how there's two power, um, there's two, yeah, the, the element is, is just from two simple screws here, each side. Um, and again, this one though, is a very old one and doesn't have an overheat. Those, by the way, you're not allowed anymore. Um, but they do last quite well, this is very old. So yeah, there we are, that's diagnosing it. Assuming you've now decided that it's, um, that you've got, uh, you know, you need to change it, we'll look at, first of all, how to drain it, because that's not easy. And then we'll look at how to get it out. Also, not easy. Cheers for now.